Good morning. Hoping that you're having a fabulous Friday and good things are happening for you. Just wanted to make a couple of notes, announcements for you. On, on next, the next two weeks, I will not be doing this YouTube. I'll be going doing some vacation from Monday through Friday um, for both um, this coming week and then the week following. But I will be here Sundays, June 7 and June 14. Well, this Sunday is June 7, of course. And June, Sunday, June 14, and then I'll be back, um, back doing things again for Sunday, June 21. So just to let you know that. And um, so there won't be this, but I will be doing the live streaming worship for those Sundays. So we'll be okay there. Hopefully things are, are manageable for you. I want to talk a little bit about this coming Sunday, June 7th. It is called Trinity Sunday. It is the only Sunday of the church year that we recognize the doctrine of the church. And so our readings have to do with the doctrines that, that we um, believe in. And the first reading for this Sunday is a relatively long one. It's Genesis 1, to 2, 1, 1 to 2, 4, a And I want to highlight, because of all that we've been going through and everything, um, verse... Uh, 28 of Genesis 1 that said uh, that we got in the in Genesis 1 we've got the zapping what I call the zapping God he says let there be light and zap there was light let there be um, a dome over the waters and separating the waters from the land and zap that happened you know just that kind of stuff it's immediate well then in verse 28 or verse 26 God says, God, uh, let us make humankind in our image. And the idea of let us, that is um, a mark of divinity. And so we think of Jesus as being there with God when God was creating and the Holy Spirit being there all, also. And we talk about the Spirit moving over the primordial waters. But let us make humankind in our image, according to our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the wild animals of the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. And so God created. In the image of God, he created male and female. It's not the separation kind. And then when we get more into chapter 2, we have another, it, it introduces itself as another creation story as when the molding and the forming kind of God we talk about. And I've been asked often, where did creation start? And I've got a little bit of a map here, and I don't know how much you can see. But um, the, the thinking is, is where modern day Iraq is, is where the Tigris and Euphrates rivers are. And then when we look at where, um, where the uh, um, Israel is, Israel is right here, and so it's a little bit away. But, you know, the people of Israel, when this particular Bible passage was being written, they were used to a lot of um, different um, cultures coming in and coming through. It was a major trade route and all that kind of thing. And they were used to people of various colors. As I mentioned before, the Jewish people, Jesus, was an olive color. He was not the white, white that we are. It's up in the way in the north where the Scandinavians and the Germans were that it was the more lighter colors. And so they're, they're more deeper colored. And the first Gentile convert was an Ethiopian eunuch. Ethiopia. It's way down here, and the people, their skin is very black, black. And so we've got all these colors, and, and we know God created all colors in, in our own image. And I like to talk about the fact that really the truth is we're only one race, and that's the human race. And when we start fighting against each other and hurting each other because of color of skin, we are hurting ourselves because we are of the human race. 
And so I want to encourage us as we look into this, this new, um, as all that we're going through between the COVID-19 virus and all the, the stuff that's happening because of color of skin, may we realize that God created us in God's image, no matter what color our skin, no matter what our, our thinking is, no matter what is going on in our lives. Um, and I'm going to be taking a little bit from our Taking Faith home for this coming Sunday. And where it says the creation story gives us a dignity and an assignment to care for all of creation. We celebrate the Trinity as a reminder of our relationship to God, the one who created us in the image of God to go out and care for our world. In this same spirit, Jesus sends out his followers to serve in the image of God, to do the work of Christ in the world, to create, redeem, and sustain all that God has made. And then it, we're encouraged to reflect on how God sends us out to care for the earth. And part of our care of the earth is to care for one another as we're not wanting to give anybody else the virus, but also how do we care for people of color. We've got so many of them in our, we're blessed with them, a flavor of them in our Huron community. So may we, may we find new ways in which we could share the image of God. Let us pray. God, creator, redeemer, sustainer, you made us to be creatures of dignity and responsibility. Bless us, help us to realize that chosenness you have given to us. And we pray that in this time of, of what we call racial unrest, you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. Do not let us fail in the face of all the events that are going on. Uphold us with your love. Give us the strength we need. Help us in our confusion. Guide our actions. Heal the hurt. Console all who are in grief. And that are afflicted, protect the innocent and helpless. Deliver any and all who are in peril. God of great mercy, help us to more and more see how all of us are created in your image. And it is for whole, the whole world that your son died. God, you are our peace, our strength. We pray for all of us as we face the uncertainties surrounding our coronavirus. Protect all who are vulnerable, especially all who are currently sick or in isolation. Grant wisdom, patience, and clarity to health care workers, especially as their work, in their work caring for those that puts them at great risk. Guide us as we consider how best to prepare and respond in our human families congregations, in our workplaces, and in our human Huron community. Give us courage to face these days, not with fear, but with compassion, concern, acts of service, trusting you abide with us always. Lord God, all these things and anything else you see we need, please grant us through your Son who taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now I'm not going to be um, doing my next YouTube until um, I think Monday, I think it's June 22nd, okay? And so I pray that God's grace and peace rest with you, and may you have good weeks and safe weeks. Thank you for your time. Bye.